Welcome to Pasta Room Studio. We know there's going to be rather more space than usual. We started with nothing. But what is nothing? What is silence? Very John Cage in here. This silence is full of static and stuff. What a noisy silence. Let's go closer to silence, silence. More of the sound in your room there. So this is two mics here, this one that I'm speaking into, and there's this other one all the way over here, but you're not mostly hearing that. You're not mostly hearing that one, but here it is with this one, here it is without, here it is with it. Here it is without. That one is adding some space, I guess. Because it's over on the other side of the room. Space. What is that? What is space? Is that a real thing? I have so much nothing turned on right now that I don't even have turned on the A199 Spring Reverb, which I always use it pretty much. That was the main module the dope for advertising succeeded in making me want that I think I was I was a teenager and my family got a, a keyboard for me from dope for and I was on their mailing list and they sent me so much about the A100 modular and how I should want it and I was convinced Especially the spring reverb. I wanted it. There it is. So that's... Just leave for somewhat reasonable amount. No spring reverb. Too much spring reverb. Which is a very nice amount. To none. Just a little. Tiny little bit. There's a bunch of... This is, this is what it sounded like in a very resonant, strange metal chamber, really. So up here is like, bah. It's reverberating and going through this filter here. If you filter out the highs, then this, the lows reverberate. I'm gonna put more highs back in. Go a little too far. Starts to self resonate. Right before there is nice, because that's the maximum. And then one more nothing is set up here. This is a Yeti. Hello. I'm speaking to you through the Yeti, so it's in stereo. Hello on this side. And hello on this side. Sides to sides. The Yeti is, is sure hearing the 
computer computing or the fan blowing it so it can compute so I mix that in depending on how much I want of that like getting up here I feel like I'm like hearing it hear the so I want it done more like here where I'm not I'm not hearing it go free so much as I'm just hearing it add to the ambience but but I don't know I don't know which audiences do and don't hear or like or dislike the free. Which audiences would be happier with these faders up here? Which audiences would like it all the way away? I don't know. I like it there. There's, this is a nice nothing over here. Over here, the LFO on the chips is, is feeding both the channels of the cells. And it's just going around. Doing nothing at all. It's got planets on the wires. It's planets and smiley faces on the wires. Lights are blinking. And over here I got the oct patched to itself. And all the way to the last one. So it's it's in its busy phase now and then and then this one slows it down, it relaxes for a very long time until it finally gets to flipping the last one and gets excited again for a while. <coughs> so that's a nice nothing. There's a gong here. Gong with no striker, nothing. Here is a camera above my head. Some objects behind me and around me. And the lights, the lights are actually being controlled from the other room. The, another laptop in the other room <laughs> is since they're on, these are uh, TP-Link Casa smart bulbs. So, I wrote a program that just, first I had it sleep for three seconds, and then I changed it to sleep in as many seconds as is left until the next, uh, modulo three seconds to flatten the rhythm a bit. It's just doing random bright colors. It's been doing that for days. Sometimes I put a, um, first it was crashing, but I did a, a try except pass and now it's been running for days success this is the this is a fun kind of programming where we hardly even dare to call it programming because then programmers will come by and make it
this is 2HP's route. I'm connecting, I'm connecting it to maths. What route does is uh, your trigger coming in here is routed to the currently active of these four things. There's a little dial to control it, or a CV to control it. But even if I'm not having the route do anything, I like to hook it up just because it's pretty. I used to feel like that was, like, inauthentic somehow, but, like, to what? Did I promise that these blinking lights meant something? Who did I promise that to? I never said that. I'll tell you right now. Some of these lights mean nothing. They're just for fun. They're just empty space. That's all. And then I like to start my performances with feedback, which is like, it's like bringing the space out of the space. Out of the space Putting the space Back into the space La da 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 ding La da 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 The arced twinkling looks like looks like triggers to me. I put those into the route, then what do we get back out? I'll check it out. And data. Yeah. Data shows, data shows these being triggers. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So I'm putting the triggers from going from the route. I go from oct to the route, and then I'm putting them into here, into the CV rack where I want them to play a knock. I've been leaving these, this is most recently used order, and I've been leaving them this way so that I can go, so I can see what I've been up to. This is the last time I used knock. And now I'm using it again. How often I use it is pretty often. It's sending me out this mono audio. I'll send that to here. And I can see that it's coming out. Expert sleep pieces are so nice. I feel I feel proud to have their boxes up here. I don't mind to represent expert sleepers. I 
I don't know what I'd be using to get from virtual to physical realities. Not for that. So here, it's, it's going out into the air. It's just, that's no good. Gotta put it in place. get some reverb. pulling the, the wires up from the, the light here. Here the lights are not exposed. I don't know. It's meant to make you feel present here, I guess. Here has sounds. situation I'm invited into. I'm not hearing that. I guess it's there. Now, oh, now there's space. Now the space is an absence of that kick drum. Very spacious. I guess I'll hook it to the P0. Just need a little cable. Little tiny cable. Only this big. P0 is so weird and so fragile. I have two of them. This one is the only one that's working. I think I should ask him if he can fix the other one or 
What do you do if your rack module is breaking? Things intense. We either can do, we can zoom out and then do the whole range. Just get super high, super low. make it make sounds but then what then there's just sounds what are you gonna do then I think this one's pretty wait does it go as far as I wanted to go nope. barely Got uneven. It's funny. Did you notice when that happened? I didn't notice. So now, now there's some noises. For if a situation calls for noise, I'm ready. situation should you make noises exact what do we need noises do you need noises you want want noises
And like, what's the amount of performance you'd like? Because it seems like, I mean, it's, it's too easy to make that. I make it go by heading this. But this isn't, this is like anti-performance. I guess that's often the part a percussionist has to play, right? But they got some trick to making it seem like they're doing something. I mean, doing stuff's fine. It's pretty busy already. Sounds staticky. Do you hear that? Everything sounds like static. It's probably just me. Thanks for visiting. Bye.